hey, I'm Corey. Happy Valentine's Day, Toronto Star viewers. You know, to commemorate the holiest day of the year. I had over four people who had a lot of marriage experience hoping to get some wisdom from them. One of them had a lot of food allergies. She could not eat wheat, dairy, soy, uh, vinegar, pork, sugar, corn, a lot of things. And she was very accommodating. She said, hey, I'll bring my own food, but obviously that's not how we treat guests. So here's what I made for her. Brussels sprouts fried in a pan, topped with crumbled Greek feta and some herbs. And then roast chicken, straight up roast chicken with quinoa and almonds. Okay, I'm gonna cook these, not app and entree, but uh, as I would cook in my kitchen. So first I'm gonna get started, the stuff that takes the longest, meaning I'm gonna pop in that chicken and cook off the quinoa. So turn the oven up to 375. Chicken's gonna go breast side down so we can get some color on that. Check on it after a while. Once I see the color, flip it over, let it cook through. And I'm gonna cover that too. Meanwhile, I got a pot of boiling water. I'm gonna cook the quinoa in there, turn it down because I want it to get soft but not mushy. As soon as I sense that, strain it off, let that cool. I've also got my almonds in the oven at the same time. I'm checking on those frequently because those will burn at 375. As soon as I can smell them, they're done. Those come out, pulse them. Don't mash them in a food processor or a mortar and pestle. Set those aside. And now I'm gonna fry up my Brussels sprouts, olive oil in a pan, medium heat. Boom, get some nice brown color on them. Salt and pepper, season them, cook them through, and just garnish them with uh, more fresh herbs. I've got, uh, I've got the tarragon and oregano here, and uh, crumbled feta over top, and of course the Greek feta, which is sheep's and goat's milk. There's no dairy in that. By this point, the chicken should be cooked. I'm gonna quarter that up, and I'm gonna fold in the almonds with the quinoa and use that as a bed underneath the chicken. Maybe a little herbs and lime in there too. And that's the way that one went. Now, I'm not an expert in marriage. I never profess to be. I'm only an expert in skydiving, appraising semi-precious gems, and karate, given. But here's what I learned from the combined 89 years of experience from the couples that I had over. You gotta love the person you're with as they are, not who you want them to be. You gotta listen. You gotta share core values, but also value that you lead different professional and social lives. You gotta to grow together or at least apace. And on top of all that, you gotta be lucky. So go and do those things. If you have any gems you wanna praise, send me a pic at drsapphire at hotmail.com. Uh, for the rest of you, happy Valentine's Day.